Let's do this. Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. It was far too a nicer day to stay inside, so we've come to the lake. Now, Epic TV and Climbing Daily is supported by the Epic TV shop. It's the reason we make and are able to keep making these videos, and it's why you'll occasionally see adverts on some of them. And it's the reason that we make this gear show, but it does allow me to check out some pretty cool gear, and that's what we're doing again today. Today we're looking at camping and base camp equipment. So stuff for an overnight stay or a cramping trip or just a cup of tea at the crag really. For me, camping goes hand in hand with climbing and climbing trips. I'm a climber, I'm cheap. I don't want to spend money on a hotel, a bivvy or a tent will often do. So that's what we're looking at today. So I thought I'd start with the Sea to Summit sleeping bag liner. <laughs> Now, the idea of a liner is that you can slip it inside of a sleeping bag and it improves the warmth of the sleeping bag. So uh, as you can see, it's really, really light, so you can compress it and pack it into a bag easily. This model improves the heat of your sleeping bag by eight degrees, but we do do an extreme version of this, which improves it up to 15 degrees. So if you're a cold sleeper, consider getting a sleeping bag liner to complement your sleeping bag. But for me, this has got a better use. So let's say I'm going up a big mountain and I need to bivvy. I don't necessarily want to carry a sleeping bag that's really heavy. So what I'll often do is just take a bivvy bag and a big down jacket and sort of shiver and get cold and miserable. But this is a solution to that. So I could bring my bivvy bag, put a sleeping bag liner in it, improve a bit of heat uh, and don't have to carry that big bulky sleeping bag. So possibly a good idea if uh, shiver bivvies are your thing. Shh, Rover. So moving on, let's look at sleeping mats. Now sleeping mats lift you off the ground and provide a layer of insulation and air against that cold ground so you're warmer when sleeping. This is the Xbed Sin Mat HL and it's designed to be one of the lightest four season sleeping mats on the planet. It comes with 20 denier fabric so uh, it doesn't rip very easily and has insulation built into it but it doesn't really add to the bulk. As you can see it's really really small, sort of the size of a Nalgene perhaps and about half a litre of water in weight. Now what's quite cool about this model is it comes with something called a schnozzle pump, which has got to be the best name for anything I've ever heard. The problem with uh, air inflated sleeping mats is you have to breathe into them. Your breath has got moisture in it and that moisture can rot the inside of the bag and reduce the lifespan of your mat. With a schnozzle pump you just fill it with air and pump it into the bag, so hopefully this should last longer. So a great product, really, really light, and at the end of the day like a good night's sleep is going to help your climbing, so it's worth investing in something like this. Next up, cooking solution. So this is the Jet Boil, a classic favorite cooking device for climbers, campers, everyone really. So instead of having loads of different pots and bits and everything hanging out all over the place, the Jet Boil is nice and simple. It's all contained within the pot and you can put the gas in there as well. The pot itself acts as a mug, so it's uh, got a sort of heat protection thing so you can grab hold of it when you've just brewed up and have a drink. This comes with an ignition system button. So it's just a button you press and that sparks it up uh, so you don't need to carry around loads of lighters. It's one of those things, I'm, I'm always a little bit wary of that because what do you do if the ignition system fails? So I'd be interested to hear your stories about this. Has the jet boil ignition system ever failed? Has it ever let you down or is it perfect every time? Let me know by commenting below. So we sell loads of different models. This is the Flash, which is a sort of like uh, mid-range model. There is a cheaper one. Hello, mate. There is a cheaper one, uh, which is a bit heavier bit, uh, and cheaper, obviously. A uh, more expensive one, which is lighter. And we also have a quite a cool sort of system where you can... <laughs> we are by a lake. Uh, we have a system where you can put it in a portal ledge and it suspends itself uh, onto the portal ledge or on a really small ledge if you're bivvying halfway up a mountain. It's got a little tripod thing, as you can see here, for stability. Yeah, I love the jet boil. It's great. It's just all in one sort of cooking, drinking thing. They're great. Next, dodgy water drinking solution. So this is the Life Straw by Life Straw. Now I'm kind of excited by this product. It allows you to drink from potentially dodgy water sources like lakes, streams, puddles, whatever really, you can drink from it. Uh, and what I like about it is how compact and light it is. So I've used filtration systems in the past and there's lots of like different sections and you have to hold bits up in the air and filter it through and it's all a faff. With this you just stick it in the water and drink or in your water bottle and drink. It's good for about a thousand litres of water which is huge, huge amount and it's really going to be good for wild camping. Uh, like often I'm up on a glacier, the water's a bit dodgy or I'm taking it from like a stream near a hut, I'm not convinced. 
this would sort it out. It filters out 99.99999 something percent of bacteria. So yeah, love this thing. I'm gonna be putting it to the test properly in a Climbing Daily episode soon, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, so you're camping, you can't see anything, you need a head torch. So this is the React from Petzl. Now, full disclaimer, I am uh, obsessed with Petzl head torches. I think they're the best on the market. They're bomb-proof. I've used mine for years and it's never let me down. So the React, as the name suggests, reacts to the light, the ambient light around it. So let's say it's super dark, the brightness is gonna be very, very strong. Whereas if it's like today, obviously it would be off. And if it's that kind of dusky, kind of dim light, it's gonna reduce the power that's shining out of it. Now this is good because you don't need to worry about it when climbing, you just focus on climbing. And also it helps save the battery life. Talking about battery life, it's totally rechargeable, has a USB connection point, so you don't need to waste lots and lots of batteries. Although you can use normal AA batteries, triple, maybe triple A. I don't know, batteries in it as well. You can set it so the lighting mode is fixed, so really strong or not so strong. And it has a red light to preserve your night vision, which is especially good if you're in a hut and you wake up in the middle of the night to go climbing and you don't want to wake everyone up with a bright, bright light. This is really cool. I might actually keep this, don't tell the shop. Now all the products that I'm talked about today are in the description below and on our pages you can find proper like product descriptions and feature lists underneath so you can find the right thing for you so check that out. Now this month we are running a challenge with Vertical Life. All you need to do is download the app and then try to climb either 300 meters uh, to be entered into a prize draw or be epic TV athlete Stefano Gasolfi by climbing over 800 meters. Check out the video. Epic TV are running a competition. Well, a challenge with Vertical Life, the guys behind the brilliant guidebook app. To win some great prizes from the Epic TV shop, we are challenging you to climb over 300 vertical meters of ascent. That's about 100 boulders if you're a boulderer. Or if you're feeling cocky, to try and beat Epic TV athlete Stefano Gasolfi's score. He's already climbed over 800 meters. Have you got what it takes to challenge the best? All you need to do to enter is download the Vertical Life app, click on the challenge page and take part in the competition by climbing a climb, then zlagging it. You can climb sport routes, boulder problems and even indoor climbs. Just download the guide for the area, crag or indoor wall you're at and get climbing. It's also free to download the guide for a climbing wall. You can see how far you have to climb on this rankings check and find out how you're doing compared to other climbers. If you climb 300 metres, you will be entered into a prize draw to win 25, 50 or even 100 euro vouchers from the Epic TV shop, as well as other climbing merchandise. If you manage to beat Stefano Gasolfi by climbing over 800 metres, you will instantly receive a 10 euro voucher. Remember, you don't have to be a route climber to do this challenge. Boulder problems also count. Good luck and get slagging. So make sure you grab that app, get zlagging and win some prizes. Right, that's all we've got time for this week. Thank you for watching Climbing Daily and I'll see you soon. I'll go for a swim.